Um, hi, I'm Laura Jordan Bambach. I am creative director at DARE. Uh, I am co-founder of She Says and Camp Festival, and I'm president at DNAD. Well, I guess my, my education uh, started at the College of Fine Arts in Sydney, where I did a fine arts degree. Um, and actually, I'm kind of, in a way, quite proud to have never done either advertising or design <laughs> at all at college. So I did, um, I really majored in installation art and um, an interactive art, so digital art, CD-ROMs, um, building things, soldering stuff. And meanwhile, I had sort of set up my own agency in the, the early 90s, or mid-90s, mid I guess, 1994, 1995, um, helping, for the most part, bigger agencies actually build digital pieces of work. So, for example, an agency would design a website in Photoshop, but they actually wouldn't even know how to break that up into individual pieces and code it. At the same time, um, I was a creative director of something called Geek Girl, which is really just myself and a woman, Rosie Cross, and she's really been instrumental in helping to, to guide me to where I am now. So it was the world's first cyber feminist, um, it's called a hyperzine, so it was a magazine and a website. And she gave me an opportunity, a platform to learn all that there was to know about coding and to, to learn design. Um, sort of purely sort of digital design, but to learn how to do that, to really learn animation, take the sk animation skills I don't know at college, at university, and actually apply that somewhere. The, the cyber feminist movement at that time was sort of quite a big international movement of women and technology, women passionate about technology. I mean, it's great, like that whole digital culture, I think the, the guys and girls, you know, there's a group of us around the world that were part of that right from the very beginning, and it's a really kind of special feeling to feel part of that part of that moment because none of us got into it because we were interested in advertising or whatever we got into it we sort of felt like pirates or something like digital pirates exploring the the outer edges of what was possible um, and because it was really popular I had this amazing opportunity to sort of go overseas and talk and meet people um, and really try to create a, a global community of women that were interested in technology and creativity in, at a time when there just wasn't anyone who just didn't ever meet any other women. Um, and then I also used to teach at my old uh, university and um, I was teaching first years one day and this amazing person called Simon Waterfall came to speak to my students in Sydney and I just remember him walking on stage and going, I want to go work for you because the kind of work that you're doing, the kind of digital work you're doing, the quality of the work is just so much bigger than what I could do by myself in Sydney with my, you know, with my own little thing. And so I just grabbed him afterwards and went, I want to come and work for you. Um, he was opening an office in Sydney and after, I think, hassling him and his partners every time they came to, to Sydney for about six months, I got a job. That was my first agency job. I then worked at, at Lateral, um, which was a really amazing agency back in the day. Uh, and then at LBI, uh, where I was executive creative director for three years and then for the last couple of years at DARE as the creative director there working with Flo. But when I joined Glue we were really small, independent and they, they were just a fantastic trio of people to work with. It was really non-hierarchical, we were doing incredible award-winning work but everyone that worked there felt like we were just part of a team whose sole purpose was to make great stuff. You know, there was no politics, there was no... Everyone was in it together. And I really, you know, I loved that feeling. And Mark was just, it's an incredible, incredible boss. When I first went there, um, it felt, you know, it was such a big agency and yet so kind of fresh or so new in terms of, uh, in terms of creative work. And interestingly, what I discovered there was that it's really entrepreneurial and has a really, really good culture, which is something that you don't normally get in a place that big. Um, but really, between myself and Simon Gill and Chris Clark, um, the chief creative officer there, we were able to, to build a creative department from almost from scratch. So I feel really proud of my three years there and actually what, what we achieved. Okay, so She Says is a global volunteer organisation and we aim to get more women into creative careers. 
particularly looking at kind of design and advertising and particularly we started out with digital. So we started it in maybe 2007 with um, one of my good friends, Ali. And Ali and I knew each other because whenever we went to speak at a conference, um, we'd always be the only two women on the panel or you know, at the conference. We'd be like, hi, it's you again, hi, it's you again. Um, and we were in charge of hiring people for our, our agency. So when I was at Glue and I was looking for designers and she was Agency Republic, we just weren't seeing any female CVs. And so we thought we needed to explore maybe why that was and what we could do about it. We started with one event, it was actually at Dare. And since then it's expanded to about, I don't know, 20 odd cities in about 15 odd countries, something like that around the world. So it's monthly events, mentoring, there's a yearly awards show, and then we do conferences and things as well. Yeah, you know, I think we've helped a lot of women, I hope we've helped a lot of men, women kind of take that first step into their careers and then also sort of progress or not be afraid of trying out new things, you know, stepping from one bit of agency life to the other and, and that kind of stuff. So. so I started Cant with Simon Gill, who was my old creative partner at LBI. And um, I'm very, very lucky I get to go to Cant. I'm a creative director but there's an enormous team of people that put time and effort and love into the work to make me look good when I'm there, you know, to make the great work that makes it possible for us to be there. And I just felt like it wasn't really fair that I was over there having a great time. There are so many people who really cared about the work, who did an amazing job, who were still stuck in London. So, because actually the industry is changing and actually that whole thing of the creative director being the one that is leading the charge and without their you know sort of heroic leadership uh, this amazing piece of work would never have happened it's just not true now it takes lots of people to make that amazing stuff when you look at the really transformative transformative digital work you know some of the stuff that RGA is doing for example the stuff that AKQA is doing the stuff that Crispin is doing you know there's loads of interesting stuff happening the creative director is still very, very important, but it's a different role and the role of creativity is different. And the creative department includes more people than just copywriters and art directors. And I think really why we started it was just to, to give that some validation and say thank you to all the other awesome people that make great stuff. I mean, there are just so many people responsible for the great work now. You can't be a creative director now and make all of this interesting stuff and say that it's, it's purely down to you. It's just not true. So I am a founding member, I'm not quite sure what you call it, I think a founding member of Creative Social. Um, Danielli and, and Mark Chalmers obviously kind of founded it. And it started as a, an, I guess an international group of digital creative directors who came together to share work and to inspire each other. Um, with sort of full Chatham House rules. So you can talk about anything, you can show stuff that hasn't gone live. To kind of learn from each other and also to kind of band together a bit in the face of really struggling to get great creative work out against more traditional agencies. Um, but it's grown into, I think, a really, really quite exciting, quite an exciting network. So it's basically two, two times a year, we all go away together. We share stuff that hasn't gone live and we critique each other's work, which I think is really important. We talk about issues in the industry. Um, so we've published a couple of books and they've come from conversations that we've had at Creative Social about the kinds of things we should be doing. Um, and you sort of share goals a little. So even though you might be really competitive in you know, day to day life, actually there have been some really good friendships forms and some good partnerships and some good opportunities to collaborate. So that's kind of been my, my journey. It's been brilliant. It's been really, really good fun and I love it.